you're on. Okay. Today I'm going to be administering oral medications to Mr. Morgan Brown. He's a patient here. He came in with an upper respiratory infection and tachycardia with a history of high blood pressure and anemia. He is allergic to morphine. And I was already in and I assessed Mr. Brown this morning. Okay. And he was having um, a pretty bad cough and some congestion. And so I'm going to also be looking for any medications to address that cough. So. The first thing I want to do is I am going to check the physician's orders, see what I have here for his medications this morning, and I have and make sure that the physician's orders are totally accurate and complete. So I have an order for low pressure 50 milligrams orally two times a day, once at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. And I'm to hold that for a heart rate of less than 60 beats per minute and a systolic blood pressure less than 100. He also has an order for ferrous sulfate, 65 milligrams orally three times a day with his meals, and that's at 9, 1, and again at 6. And then he does have a PRN order for Robitussin with dextromethorphan, 15 milliliters orally every four hours for his cough. So I will be assessing to make sure that he has not had that within the next four hours to see if I can give that to him. So he is not NPO, he um, is on a general diet and he's not going for any procedures that would require him to have nothing by mouth this morning. And he also um, has uh, no problem swallowing uh, that I was told in report. And he's not on a fluid restriction, in fact, he's getting IV fluids. So now I'm going to um, identify the outcomes that I'm going to need. I'm gonna look up my medications and I'm going to um, check for why I'm give, giving the medication. I'm going to check for any contraindications to giving the medication and side effects. I want to know that it's in the safe dose range. And I also want to know um, uh, if there's any special nursing considerations and teaching that I need to give for the patient. Then I am going to um, I'm going to go ahead and get my equipment ready, so I need my medication administration record. I have the order. I'm going to need probably a little tray or something to bring my medications into the room with. I'm going to need a medication administration cup to put the pills in. I don't need to crush anything, and I don't need to cut anything that I'm aware of at this point, but I have those available if I need them. And then I want to make sure that the patient does have water in the room, and I did give that to him earlier when I went in to assess him. So now the first thing I'm going to do is gather my medications. Oh, I want to wash my hands first, so I'm going to go over to the sink. Okay, and I've washed my hands. Now I'm going to find Mr. Morgan's medication drawer. And I have it right here. This is Morgan Brown, correct medical record number, correct date of birth. And with the MAR, I am going to gather my medications and do my first check. So the correct check, or the first, the rights that I'm going to go through, there are six rights. The correct patient, and this is Morgan Brown, and his medical record number is correct and date of birth. I'm noting that. He is allergic to morphine sulfate, so I'm going to make sure as I'm pulling my medications that there is nothing that will contain morphine sulfate. Then I'm going to the first medication. It's low pressor, so I'm going to look for low pressor, and I have low pressor. That's the correct med. The correct dose is 50 milligrams. It is oral. It is a pill, and it is the um, correct time is 9 a.m., and it is not expired. And on this one, I'm going to put a little notation, I'm going to take a different med cup, because this one has special parameters to hold for a heart rate of six, less than 60 or a systolic blood pressure of less than 100. So I need to do that right before I administer that medication. And if any of those parameters are not met, then I'm going to have to hold that. My next drug is my ferrous sulfate. So again, for Morgan Brown, and this is ferrous sulfate. It is 65 milligrams, correct drug, correct dose, correct route is oral, and he's getting it three times a day, correct time, 
and it's nine o'clock with meals and he had his has his breakfast there and it expires um, in 2011 and it is not expired so I'm going to take that and then I have Robitussin and he did get this at midnight and it is 9 a.m. so it has been past four hours so he may have this again and it's Robitussin which is the correct drug DM and here it states five milliliters of goyafenicin, 100 milligrams and dextromethorphan um, 10 milligrams and that's in five milliliters he is getting 15 milliliters if I just had the dosages I would have to do a dosage calculation at this point but I am going to pour 15 milliliters of the Robitussin so that's going to be my correct dose it is orally it's a liquid form every four hours he had it last at midnight so he can have it now and it's PRN for cough and he did have cough and congestion this morning when I assessed him so I will be preparing that in a minute now I'm going to go ahead and do my second check so again Morgan Brown correct medical record number correct date of birth this is low presser 50 milligrams orally two times a day and then hold for heart rate less than 60 systolic less than 100 ferrous sulfate 65 milligrams orally three times a day with meals it's 9 a.m. he has his breakfast and then the Robitussin DM now I'm going to pour that put my cap down I'm going to palm the label so that it does not spill and I am going to pour the medication into the cup and I'm going to pour it to the meniscus at 15 mils So Robitussin DM, 15 milliliters, that's 15 milliliters orally every four hours, PRN for coughing is safe to have that. So that's my second check. I'm going to do one more check with all of these medications. And I can also do this check at the bedside, but with the Robitussin, because I'll be putting it away, I definitely have to do the third check out at the cart. Again, low presser, 50 milligrams orally two times a day for a heart rate less than 60, systolic blood pressure less than 100, and it is not expired. The ferrous sulfate is 65 milligrams orally three times a day with meals, and it is not expired. And then the Robitussin DM, 15 milliliters orally every four hours, PRN for cough, and it is not expired. And they're all for Morgan Brown. Okay, so now I'm going to put my Robitussin away back in the drawer, and I'm going to put my drawer away. Okay, and um, get that back in. Sometimes they're a little tricky. All right, so I put them in away. I'm going to put these all on my tray. Okay, and I've gathered my equipment, and I have my stethoscope to check the heart rate and the blood pressure, and then I'm going to go into the patient's room. Knock, knock. Come on in. Thank you. Okay, Good morning. I'm going to wash me. Good morning. Hello again. I'm Kim again. I'm going to be your nurse today, and I've brought your medications in for this morning. Could you please tell me your name? I'm Morgan Brown. Okay, Mr. Brown. Very good. And your date of birth is 8-14-1970. Okay. Can you tell me your date of birth again? 8-14-1970. Very good. And Mr. Brown, do you have any allergies? Yes, I'm allergic to morphine. Okay, very good. That's what I have. Let me just check your bracelet. Okay, excellent. And then I'm just going to check your medical record number, Mr. Brown, for another safety check. Okay, very good. Well, this morning, I have... Um, your low presser and I have your iron and I have some Robitussin DM for that cough that you've been having. Before I begin, what I'd like to do is assess you. Okay. So I just, with that low presser, I need to check your heart rate and your blood pressure. Okay. Okay. And 
And I'm just going to listen here for a whole minute, okay? We want to be very, very accurate when we give you your heart medications. Okay. Very good. If your heart rate is 72 this morning, and then I'm going to check your blood pressure. safe to give you that low presser. Okay. If I had a scanning device where I needed to scan the patient's armband and scan the medications, I would be doing that now. Okay. I'm going to get you comfortable. Is it okay if I raise the head of your bed? Thank you. And how do you like to take your pills? Do you like to take them one at a time or all at once? One at a time. Okay, very good. Get high enough? Okay. Here's some ice water for you. First medication that I have for you is your low presser, and it is 60, uh, 50 milligrams, and you're getting it, and your heart rate was 70, and your blood pressure was 128 over 70, so that's safe to give. I'm just going to push that out into the cup. Very good. Okay. Okay, and some drink. Very good. Okay, did you get that down? Wonderful. Okay, the next medication is your iron, ferrous sulfate, 65 milligrams, three times a day with meals. Okay, good. Very good. Okay, and then the last is that Robitussin for your cough. And I'm giving you this one last as well because I'd rather you don't um, rinse it out of your mouth, so don't drink your water right away afterwards. Okay, very good. All right. And so we talked earlier, and you had said that you didn't have any questions about your medications. Um, and I will be back to check on you to make sure that your blood pressure is um, working and the heart rate that, um, that we're getting desired responses from that low pressure. So I'll be back to follow up on that and also to follow up to see if this has relieved some of your coughing, that Robitussin has relieved some of the coughing, okay? Can I get you comfortable? Would you like to go back down? I'm okay. Okay, all right, very good. So I wanna make sure the bed is in the lowest position. Thank you for letting me borrow your bedside table. I'm going to record these real quickly. So I'm gonna write that I gave the low presser. I'm going to write, sign the time and date that I gave, or an initials that I gave the ferrous sulfate, and sign time, date, and initials that I gave the Robitussin, and sign the bottom. Okay, I'm going to make sure the side rails are still up. And you've got your water. Is there anything that I can get you, Mr. Brown? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, very good. I just need to wash my hands, throw away my garbage. Okay, I'll be back to check on you in about an hour. Thank you. 